Okay, um, I just want to really quickly apologize for being consistent with my uploading. Uh, I said a lot of crap going on at the moment. Um, also, I just remember I come on here to say I just reached 340 subscribers, which is like 100 off, or 100 or so off the goal I had from the day I started to do my giveaway. Um, I just want to mention that. I never want to mention the giveaway because people just subscribe for the hell of it and give me after the giveaway and people would be like unsubscribing if they won or if they didn't win and all that which you get anyway but anyway um oh well, yeah just reached 340 subscribers and i cannot believe that that just happened like just then also what was i gonna say um do you know what happened to peanut butter or oreos like i remember when i was a kid or when i was like 13 14 oreos like came to australia or just got really popular in australia and they had like peanut butter flavor oreos but they weren't peanut butter in Oreos, but like peanut butter flavored cream in Oreos. Um, I don't know what happened to them. It's like, um, excuse that noise in the background. Some kid next door playing some stupid game. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't remember having peanut butter Oreos, but I like the best. Anyway, I just want to thank 340 of you guys for subscribing to my channel and being loyal to my channel and myself and sticking by me, even though it's obviously I haven't got the best channel in the world, which I'm hoping. Fingers crossed to change within the next couple of months. All barring well, I should now be getting a new camera or a camera of my own in the next few months. Like, yeah, so it's November 25th now, so between December and February or March, I should be getting a new camera. So wish me luck there, and I hope everyone has a great day. And I will catch you all very, very soon. And um, tell me if you miss my get ready with me videos. I just, every time I wake up, I just haven't left myself enough time to like come on here, set everything up, and then get ready for some reason. But, um, tell me if you like those. I'm trying not to do many hauls now because, um, I've just gotten way too much stuff accumulated, and yeah, you don't really need all that much stuff. And anyway, I will catch you all soon. Another thing I want to say is another person on YouTube done another thing about the Nix in Australia, like NYX in Australia, and they put down the prices of the stuff they bought, and I'm looking at the prices, and I'm like, um, half of that, I could already buy half of that stuff for that, if not cheaper, with brands that are already in Australia. Like, um, foundations for $13, $14 Australian, um, there's like Rimmel Foundations for that. There's Australis Foundations, Space Australia Foundations for that. Even Essence Foundations for way less than that. It's like, what's the point in going out and buying this big hyped up product? Like, I was all ready to go and buy like a NYX or two products, like, just to try it out. And just looking at what this lady bought and what the prices are, it's like, um, sorry. It's like, yeah, I get it's a big thing in America, but I mean, to say one of the things she said was like $8.95 US dollars, and over here it's like 14 US dollars. Like I said, for that 14 US dollars, I could buy like two or three essence foundations. Like, if it was a foundation, I could buy two or three essence foundations, and they're apparently really good. I can buy one, um, like a Australis foundation or a couple BYS foundations for that and I know they're really good brands like even though they're really cheap I've personally tried like Essence products I've tried BYS I've tried Australis as you probably knew in the beginning when I first started YouTube I still do use them products just not as often as I should um but yeah it's like um you know I why should we pay that? I know we've got to pay taxes and shit, but um, the products are already here. Why is there such a big hype over Nick's thing in Australia? Especially in a few months. Like, I reckon around maybe February, March next year, like, everyone's going to forget about it, and it's going to be, like, another brand on the shelf that we've just forgotten about almost. Like, yeah, people will be buying it still, but it's not going to be such a big hyped-up thing like it is now. So, yeah.
but I do get this. Like, I get people saying there's great things about it, but also there's great things that every single brand you can get out there. There's like, every brand has their ups and downs of their products. Same as this. I just don't get the point in buying, like, you know, a product that's 50% more in cost than what it is in the US. And, like I said, you can get cheaper products ready over here that are known, tried, and tested products. Like, you know, they're really good, known, well-known products, and, I mean, it's good for people that buy it online already, but for someone that's never tried Nick, it's not really, like, who wants to spend $30 on a foundation that you don't even know is going to work for you or whatever, and I'm pretty sure, like, pretty much every brand in Australia, like, if you have a drugstore brand, it's got, um, testers. Even, like, high-end products have testers these days, like MAC and, yeah, MAC and I think Smashbox has testers, like in David Jones and Myers. I know MAC does. But anyway, it's like, does it have testers? Please tell me that, because I know a lot of US shops don't give testers to people. Like, they don't have a little tester thing, like, all, like, just say Nick's Round Lipsticks would have testers in Australia, like, you have like a red tester to the red lipstick to match and so on. Um, yeah, so I don't know what the hype is. I don't get it. It's just a brand that if you love NYX, what good for you. Um, if you don't know about like if you don't know what NYX is like like um why would we want to pay twice as much as we do here? Um I don't know. Just I am actually going to, I've been saying I'm going to buy a NYX product, like I've always wanted to try a NYX eye, jumbo eye pencil or something, or some lip products or even a cheek product to see what they really like, but now I saw the price, I just can't justify that, like I saw how little they are, they're about like not even that big, like your average size, you know, and like BYS blushes are like that, just the product itself is like that big, and yeah. So I can't just take the price when I can buy a cheapo blush for like three dollars and the next selling them for nine dollars. So um I don't get it. Anyway, you're probably gonna hate me, so bye for <laughs> now.